What guys, what guys? Today gonna be putting us a quick video about high value man versus high value woman. And we're gonna be the first start, the first part of the series of high value, pretty much for installs and introverts, whatever. And the second video I'm gonna make is gonna make a video called the high value, the low value man versus the high value man. Actually, this one's gonna be high value man versus low value man. And then we're gonna be about high, low value woman versus high value woman. And then pretty much from there, you're, never, you're pretty much able to know instantly whether a man or a woman you're approaching is high value or low value. I ain't gonna let you go, guys. I'm not talking. Nice guys. So yeah guys. I'm really hot, I think. But yeah guys, um yeah. So I'm gonna show you right now what a so I'm gonna start saying what a low value man is, and then I'm gonna tell you about what a high value man is. And basically I'm gonna ask about this I've both been a super low value man and I'm become a high value man. So yeah, then I'm gonna make another video talk about how to become a high value man. That's woman. Maybe yeah. A low value man is someone that is a guy, usually it's a character, either an introvert or shy. Or soft, or pussy, or a doormat, or an introvert, or an insult. Basically, low value guys to have no idea how to start a conversation with a woman, and will ne never really talk to women at all. They pretty much avoid women because they're scared of them, and they also get angry at them because they can't fuck them, and no one will fuck them. And they blame women, where they blame themselves on why they're not getting any, they're not getting any lead or girlfriend or anything. That's why I used to be when I was in high school, to a certain degree. I mean, I didn't hate women or anything, but that, like, I got hit on my at least four, four or six different girls in my freshman year, and I could have easily got them. All the way I am now, they would have been my baby, they would have been my baby mom right now. Especially the hottest woman, I remember her name. But she was super hot. But yeah, they was always trying to talk to me and everything, and I think they liked me because I was so shy and nice, you know? And the thing, they were trying to talk to me or whatever, and I always say that, oh, okay, cool. Oh, 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 okay. That's literally all I would say. I was so scared, shy, and nervous, and awkward, and anxious that I was, I was the one to end the conversation as quickly as possible so I could go back to not being so scared. I was terrified of women during my high school years, right? So pretty much, yeah. That's what a low-value man is. A low-value man has to pay money just to talk to a girl in a way that he actually feels comfortable with, that he can talk to her regular with, had to pay a girl just to talk to her, either, either through text or through phone call or through video call. It doesn't matter. He'll pay for, he'll pay for uh, any of those. Especially once he sees that the girl is actually a real girl and not a guy. And once the girl who's real, you yeah, have no problem paying her money. You just have video chat with her, or you talk on the phone with her, or even text her about, about dirty, streaky stuff. Like once a, a low body man pays the girl to talk to him, then he'll start talking all dirty, he'll give her all her fantasies, all this weird, crazy shit, and talking mad, dirty, and shit, and how they are. Because they feel like they can't do that unless they pay money to the girl, so the girl will actually be flaunting to them and talk back to them. Like, like, like when they talk, when they say they'll do something about their girl, they know they're gonna get beat up or slapped or whatever, and they don't wanna talk to them again. So that's why you go for girls that are like hookers or extras or whatever that offer money for that. So over a low value man will also pay a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, even three thousand plus just to go on a date with a high value escort woman. But we'll talk about that in the next video. So that's a low value guy. Now, how about you guy, as myself, is a guy that's completely confident, completely charismatic, loves to fucking talk about himself and the world and the woman, worships the female mind, the female spirit, and the female mentality. Like, we love women so much, guys. A high body man is infatuated with women, and a high body man, she wants to have, they want to vibe with women, and talk to women, and explore her mind. Like, a high body man doesn't care about sex. Well, a low body man just wants sex so bad, they've never done it before, anything doesn't mean anything. But a high body man has had so much sex, that they don't even care about sex anymore, that they'd rather get a blowjob, they'd rather just talk to a woman, and explore her mind, and talk about spirituality, talk about what they're passionate about. And just it's more sort of passions and try to elevate the woman. Because a high value man in general is in a way higher value, value and level than the majority of women in the world. 
Like when a woman gets approached by a high body man, she knows right away that this man is worth her time. This man gonna help her, and the man gonna be used to her. Listen to me. Even the way you approach yourself, your body, your body language, the way you look, how you keep something eye contact with her. Because most girls think that most guys won't be able to keep eye contact. But when you're really high body man, you really need to keep eye contact with a girl, and the girl will actually look away because she's kind of scared. She's like, damn, what's good with this guy? The guys are staring in my eyes. Oh my gosh, it's cool, but I'm scared. Yeah, and shit like that. Like a whole body guy, it pretty much, it's, it's, a whole body guy will be a guy that's making at least $50,000 or more a year with a job, or making 50000 a year like me, or making over 50000 a year by hustling, what I do by panhandling, and also by um, writing books and posting books. I'm not an author yet, guys, but I'm working on my first book, and pimping, like we've been selling posters, selling pictures, whatever, and cafes, whatever, and through companies and entrepreneurship they made. Like so far, I've done three companies. Ism Inc., Enlightened marketing and pimping. Cause basically, my third company is my, is my, is my host, bodies and pussy. Right now, at this point, I have three hosts, allegedly. I'm not really a pimp, guys. Please don't police or anything. If you're watching this officer, I'm not really a pimp. I'm lying about this. I'm just trying to make myself elevate to a higher value. So that's why I said I'm a pimp. I'm not a pimp. I'm not a pimp. I can't promote a pimp or anything. But yeah, guys, yeah. So, there's other ways to make money as a high value guy. But a high value guy will not give a fuck about how you make money. Like, yeah, you may still have a bum because I back your money, I collect money from car, that kind of But at the end of the day, I make more money than the majority of Americans. Like, I make more money than the majority of the people that are giving me money. Cause I just, because my best friend Juan at the math, and he's number seven. And he probably said that I made over $45,000 last year. That's my patent. But yeah, he was with the numbers 11 for the first three months, and then eight. Four to nine months, and then you will get a more accurate um, amount of what I actually made. So I know without a doubt, I made more than 50000 last year by paneling, doing my fellow paneling, monster money collecting, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, guys, a high value man loves to talk about himself and talk about and explore the woman's mind, ask her questions, interest in what she has to say, what she thinks, what she believes, what her spiritual idea is, what her religion is, all that. And like we are fascinated with the woman, with the female mind, spirit, emotions, physically, of course. And their mind, their spirit, and their soul, their spirituality, what they have to say. We learn from women. A high value man knows that women are more valuable and powerful than men, and that women, that any woman, can teach a lot, can teach a man a lot of things about how to love, how to treat them, all that. That's a high value man, man. Peace, guys. Peace.